Well, welcome back to another edition of Liturgical Update, Holy Week edition. I've brought with us our co-host, Chip Wilson, the Minister of Faith Formation and Multimedia at Abiding Presence. Hey, Chip! How's it going, Pastor Steve? It's going great. This liturgical update is all about Holy Week, which begins on Palm Sunday. That's coming up in just a few days. And Palm Sunday is a wonderful, wonderful time in the church. It's whenever we take the palm branches out and we wave them up in the air and we shout out Hosanna and Jesus comes into Jerusalem on that on that uh, uh, donkey. It's the triumphant entry into Jerusalem. And the cool thing about Palm Sunday is that it marks the beginning of our, our walk from uh, uh, from from Lent to the to Easter Sunday. Palm Sunday's colors are we stay purple. Um, and sometimes, did you know, Chip, that sometimes on Palm Sunday you could even read the Passion text? Yeah, I've heard this. Um, we don't do that here, but I've heard that we could do that. No, we don't do that here. And the reason why we don't do that here at Abiding Presence is because the Passion is heard on the next three days of worship, which begins on Monday, Thursday. That's Thursday night. We're doing all of ours online this year. Normally on Monday, Thursday, we would have a good foot washing, or we would be focusing on the last supper that Jesus shared with his disciples. This year, because we're not able to really wash feet virtually, it's kind of difficult, and uh, doing communion virtually has also proved some difficulty as well, we are going to focus on first person accounts of the last week of Jesus's life. And some people are going to share with us some really interesting things about that. Um, Monday Thursday has its own colors as well. You could be white or you could be scarlet red, just like Ooh. you were with the passion readings. And on this Monday Thursday, we strip the altar. And that means that we take all of the different elements from the altar area off. Even my rope gets taken off. The stoles are taken off. Um, so that way we are preparing ourselves you know, stripping away everything for Good Friday. So with, for, then we go into Good Friday, where Shelby and the choir have prepared a lovely tin and braze service that will end completely in darkness. Mm. And then it will lead us into our Saturday worship for the Easter visual, where we'll have the lighting of the new fire, the new Paschal candle, and some Taze music, along with some readings that will take you throughout our faith tradition from creation to the resurrection. And all that ends with the big shebang on Sunday. <laughs> yes, of course, Easter <laughs> Sunday, which begins our next liturgical season. So cliffhanger, you'll have to find out what happens later on Easter. But join us for worship this coming uh, Easter Sunday, 8.30 and on Sunday morning, it'll be online. But then 11 o'clock is our first in-person uh, returning. We're going to be worshiping in the outdoor chapel and celebrating the resurrection of our Lord outdoors. Until then, remember, you are the abiding presence of Christ in the world. And together we are seeking God and serving others in new ways. This has been your liturgical update. Take care.